Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Greg Jones, and I'm honored to be the principal here at Orchard Farm High School. I kindly ask that you honor the class of 2023 with the respect and courtesy that they have earned after 13 years of hard work, dedication, and probably some persistence. I also ask at this time, please take a moment to silence all cell phones and any other electronic devices you may have. Additionally, we ask that movement be kept to a minimum during today's commencement activities to allow all of our families the opportunity to enjoy and witness this event. Restrooms are located to my right, and Wagner Portrait Group will be taking pictures of each individual graduate and candidates throughout the ceremony. These images will be available online for you to view and order if you'd like. In addition, Mr. Jim Dreyer, Director of Communications, is recording this morning's ceremony. The video will be posted and we will use social media to promote the video. On the stage today is a group of sincere and dedicated individuals who work tirelessly to make our school and district the wonderful place that it is. These individuals are the members of the Orchard Farm School District Board of Education and Central Office Administrative Team. Our board is dedicated to serving our community and continuing the tradition of excellence here at Orchard Farm. It is my distinct honor and pleasure to introduce each member individually. Board President, Mr. Darren Grunwald. Board Vice President, Mr. Steve Goki. Board Secretary, Mrs. Erin Stopke. Board Treasurer, Mr. Brad Westerfeld. Board Member, Mr. Kenny Bierman. Board member, Mr. Steve Stopke. And board member, Mr. Eric Williams. Accompanying our board, also on the stage are our central office administrative team. These individuals' leadership and inspiration have led to the many outstanding opportunities for our students across this district. Please join me in welcoming our district administrative team, the superintendent of the Orchard Farm School District, Dr. Wade Steinhoff. And assistant superintendent, Dr. Keith Klosterman. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the main stadium entrance. Now entering the stadium, being led by your assistant principal, Mr. Steve Mentier, athletic director, Mr. Blake Arnett, and school counselors, Mrs. Danielle Marotti, Ms. Jenny Pipkins, and Ms. Kathleen Norman, I proudly present the Orchard Farm High School Class of 2023.
Thank you, Mr. Mobley and our band. Ladies and gentlemen, again, as a reminder, please take a moment to silence cell phones and other electronic devices during the ceremony. Thank you for your cooperation. Now I'd like to introduce student council historian, Ms. Peyton Fry, who will be leading us in the Pledge of Allegiance this morning. Peyton is the daughter of John Fry and Jennifer Witherby. Throughout high school, she has participated in NHS, Student Council, Principals Council, HOSA, Spanish Club, Softball, Basketball, and Track. She does a lot. She plans to attend University of Missouri, Kansas City in the fall, where she will study microbiology. Our nation's flag is located behind me. Please stand and graduates, remove your caps. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Peyton. At this time, would everyone re please remain standing for performances of our alma mater followed by our national anthem. The OFHS Choir, under the direction of Ms. Kathy Bott, will now perform the alma mater and our country's national anthem. Thank you. Thank you, choir. Graduates, you may replace your hats, and at this time, you, all, you may all be seated. Thank you. All right, I'd like to invite our superintendent of schools, Dr. Wade Steinhoff, to the podium. Dr. Steinhoff. Good afternoon, and congratulations to all of our graduates and their families here today. My remarks today will be brief because today is about our graduates. They are the stars of the show. Just a couple thank yous. Thank you to our staff members who have been a part of your journey and supported you along the way. For some of you, you've been with us all the way from preschool through today. A thank you to your family and friends uh, of all the graduates for the support you have given. And finally, a big thank you to you, the graduates, because ultimately it was your hard work and commitment that brings you here today to receive your high school diploma. Where you go from here, well, that's up to you. Just promise you'll dream big. It truly has been an honor to serve you, our graduates, as superintendent, and thank you for sharing your special day with all of us. So on behalf of myself and our Board of Education, good luck to all of you, and may you forever consider Orchard Farm your home. Thank you.
Thank you, Dr. Steinhoff. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our Student Council Secretary, Ms. Elena Grinnell, who will be our first student speaker this afternoon. <laughs> Elena is the daughter of Paul and Alicia Grinnell. Throughout high school, she has participated in Student Council, Yearbook, Spanish Club, Softball, and Track. She plans to attend the Missouri State University in the fall, where she will study in their audio studies program to become a mu music and film producer. Good morning, friends, family, staff, admin, and the class of 2023. I'm Elena Grinnell, as you now know, and I'm student council secretary. I've been here at Orchard Farm since fifth grade, but whether you know me or not, I want to give a big congratulations to all of you for being here. It took roughly 105,000 hours of being in school to get in those seats. So whichever path life took you on, you're here now, and that's something to be proud of. Today, we close this chapter of our life, but we also remember a classmate whose story ended too soon. I'm sure some of you have noticed we have an empty chair here in the front row for Brayden Palmer. Sorry. <laughs> Some of you grew up with him, had class with him, or passed him in the hallway. He was a boy of few words, but had the most beautiful soul, and today is just not the same without him. I encourage you to remember him today, and to remember to never take a moment for granted. As cliche as it sounds, I remember standing up in front of all of you four years ago at eighth grade promotion. Today, that, er, that day, we were all going to the same place. We were told how to survive high school, to stay out of upperclassmen's way, to get involved, and to not forget to study. But now we won't all take the same path. You might be going three hours away to Missouri State, 15 minutes away to a community college, or you could be starting your career tomorrow. So if I can leave you with one universal thing today, it's that it's okay not to be okay, to not know and to not understand, and to not have your life figured out at 18 or 19. I don't think you're supposed to. As long as you're doing something to better yourself or your situation every day, it's going to be okay. As a wise man, also known as my father, once said, if you take one step in bettering yourself or your situation every day, in 100 days, you'll be 100 steps ahead of where you were 100 days ago. And that statement changed my life, and I hope it helps you in some way, too. Now, some of you know I'm a DJ, and being so, <laughs> you know I have to share a music quote with you from one of the best songwriters and artists of our generation, Mr. J. Cole. There's always gonna be a car that's better than the one you got. There's always gonna be some clothes fresher than the ones you rock. And there's always gonna be a home bigger than the one you own, but you will never be happy until you love yours. We must learn to love our own lives, and we have to know that there's beauty in the struggle. And never stop reaching for your goals, but make sure that you love the journey getting there. Thank you, class of 2023, congratulations. Thank you, Elena. Please join me in welcoming to the stage our senior class president, Ms. Mackenzie Bragg. <laughs> Mackenzie is the daughter of Ann Stelter and Gary Bragg. Throughout high school, she has participated in NHS, OSA, student council, and softball. In the fall, she is attending the Missouri State University, where she will be studying communications. Sorry, I'm a little short, guys. <laughs> Alrighty. Today is honestly a day, a day we have all been waiting for, a day we have all been preparing for since we started learning our colors. This day is exciting, but of course it's nerve-wracking, and despite all the worries we have, this new chapter is going to be a great one. And wherever you guys go, whatever you guys do, you guys will be nothing but amazing. Now on to some more inspirational words, because we've already heard some inspiration from Elena. Going out into the world today, I simply ask you guys to do one thing, and that's just to be the kind person that people look for. I saw a recent TikTok where a 106-year-old man named Gordon he said, it doesn't matter if you're skilled or clever, and it doesn't matter if you're a great film star or a football player or have plenty of money in the world, 
It all doesn't matter if you're not kind. So simple acts of kindness brighten people's days more than we think sometimes. So please think of others, do good things, and continue being amazing people. I sincerely wish you all the best things, and I will never forget you guys, class of 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mackenzie. At this time, I'd now like to introduce our student council vice president, Ms. Avery Braun. Avery will be introducing our commencement speaker. Avery is the daughter of Amy Braun. Throughout high school, she has participated in student council, NHS, principal's council, yearbook, soccer, and volleyball. She, had planned, she plans to attend the University of Missouri in the fall, where she will study business with an emphasis in marketing. Avery? I have the honor of introducing this year's commencement speaker, Mr. Chris Lindoff. Coach Lindoff discovered his passion for education as a student right near Orchard Farm High School. He then went on to graduate from Missouri State University. For the past six years, he has enjoyed teaching a variety of social studies classes. Three of those years have been here at Orchard Farm High School. While he was here, he has been known to have he has been known for his great energy and encouragement and his love for the Orchard Farm community. Now please join me in welcoming Mr. Chris Lindoff as our commencement speaker. Class of 2023, it is an honor to be here and a privilege to be chosen to speak at such a momentous occasion. Students, over the past four years, you have had an enormous impact on our school and the Orchard Farm community. The class of 2023 is truly unforgettable and we are so proud of what you guys have accomplished. Throughout your schooling, the days seemed to drag and the seasons turned over slowly. But looking back now, you realize how fast it has gone by and how precious your time here really is. As you sit through this ceremony, you will inevitably start to realize this is the end of your journey here. This is not a rehearsal. There will be no more walks in from the parking lot, no more games, plays, or concerts. No more cookies from Mrs. Casson. No more mentor telling you to get to class. All right. Your path forward away from Orchard Farm begins now. Some of you have had your professional lives mapped out since you could walk. Some of you still have no idea what you'll be doing next week. Some of you will be doctors, some of you will be teachers, some of you will be pursuing a career in the military. All of that is fine. You'll figure out quickly that your specific path does not matter. Instead, what you will learn along the way is what makes an impactful life. My hope for all of you is you continue to learn each day. I hope you learn to fail. You'll fail today. You'll fail in some sense every day. You'll come up short. You'll fail on your own and you will let others down. When it happens, feel the emotions. Be angry, frustrated, cry, yell, but attempt to understand it. Make adjustments and learn. You'll probably have to do some apologizing. Own it, all right, and face the music and keep working. Such experiences will add up, and how you handle them will determine a lot. I hope you learn to never give up in pursuit of personal success. Like justice, success is blind and swift. It does not care who you are or what you have gone through. It only cares that you never give up and you always treat others the right way. Success will look different for each of you, but make no mistake, you will all see it. Don't compare, don't stress. Be proud of what you have become and those you have brought with you because you are all that they need. I hope you learn to appreciate change. Like this world, yours will always be changing. People will come in and out of your life. You'll go through various phases. You will make life altering decisions and feel serious emotions about them. Change is good, complicated, and necessary. Learn to embrace it and figure things out as you go. Anyone saying they have everything figured out needs to teach a class, I will sit in the front row. I hope you learn to surround yourself with people that care about you. I advise you to take a moment to think about all those who helped you get to this point. Parents, families, educators, coaches, friends, the many voices you have heard along the way. They have made countless sacrifices so that you could succeed. You would not be here without them, and that is very, very important to understand. Lastly, I'll leave you with this. The world is going to want you to grow up. It's going to ask you to wear dress shoes and use big words. It will ask you to make sacrifices. 
It's going to ask you to endure pain that you can't really imagine. Uh, but here's a secret. It's a trap. You don't have to fall for it. You're going to go through changes, and you'll get older, but never do you have to really grow up. Never stop smiling and laughing. Never stop loving and putting your heart on the line. Never stop fighting for what you believe. You will not regret it. We love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Lindoff. Mr. Lindoff was chosen by the class of 2023 to give that address. At this time, please join me in welcoming Student Council President, Ms. Madeline Baer. <laughs> Maddie is the daughter of Adam and Allison Baer. Throughout high school, she has participated in varsity cheer, track, student council, NHS, HOSA, and yearbook. She plans to attend, uh, to attend the University of Missouri, Kansas City in the fall, where she will study health sciences with a minor in exercise science. Maddie? On behalf of the class of 2023, I would like to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of the teachers and staff at OFHS. Our teachers and staff over the past four years continuously pushed our class to our best. We love that you always treated us like family. The support you have given us these past four years have been a huge part of us being here today. You're the best. We would like to give a special shout out to our lip sync battle champion and district teacher of the year, Mr. Seidman. Thank you from the OFHS class of 2023. Thank you, Maddie. As we celebrate the class of 2023, we'd also like to highlight the achievements of several groups of students and also highlight their families. These next couple of sections, we will ask the families of the students to also stand to be recognized. We will start off with the A-plus graduates. I'd like to take a moment to recognize the students who are graduating with A-plus designation by the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Would the students and their families who qualify for A-plus graduate designation please rise. I'd like to take a moment to recognize our graduate for their commitment to our country by enlisting in the armed forces and defending the freedoms we all hold dear. We are thankful for you and for your selfless dedication to our community, our state, and our nation. Would the enlistee and their family please stand to be recognized. Next up, the Center for Advanced Professional Studies, or CAPS program. These students spent half their days off-site, learning and working alongside entrepreneurs and business leaders and experiencing the healthcare field and the IT realm. Each of them learned valuable career, college, and life-ready skills that translated to real-world learning. Would these students and their families please stand to be recognized for their outstanding achievements? Another group of students that I'd like to recognize are our seniors who attended the Lewis and Clark Career Center. In St. Charles County, we are very lucky to have a career center that is cutting edge and provides students real world learning experiences that translate to the workforce. These students learn industry recognized skills that prepare them to be both career and life ready. 
Would these students and their families please stand to be recognized? We also had several, several members of the class of 2023 embark on a journey called Early College Start. These students spent their days duly enrolled, working towards their post-secondary degrees at St. Charles Community College, while earning credits towards their high school diploma. Would these students and their families please stand to be recognized? In today's commencement program, you will find the criteria used for a student to qualify for graduating with class honors. We will recognize all class honors recipients together, including cum laude, magnum cum laude, and summa cum laude. 39 members of the class of 2023 met various levels of rigorous academic criteria. These students will have their honors designation read along with their names in a few moments. Would all of the students receiving class honors and their families please stand to be recognized? class of 2023 is the first class at Orchard Farm High School to have the opportunity to earn three new certificates, career ready, college ready, and life ready. The requirements to meet the eligibility criteria come from the American Association of School Administrators and the Redefining Ready Initiative. Would all of the students receiving these honors and their families please stand to be recognized? seniors your moment's here let's practice one of the many lessons that you learned at OFE or discovery definitely at Orchard Farm Middle School and that's line up walk in a straight line and be kind <laughs> Just over 700 days ago, your student started high school. After all the late nights, early mornings, and periodic moments of procrastination, the moment of watching your graduate walk across the stage finally makes all of those struggles worth it. This is the moment that you and they have been waiting for. Your students have been celebrated for their wildly successful academic careers, outstanding achievements in career and technical education, and athletic success with numerous individual and GAC conference, district, and sectional championships, and also three trips to a state championship game. Everyone gathered here at our stadium has worked to help prepare them for their next steps in life. During this time that the graduates are transitioning to stage, I'd like to highlight some of the class of 2023's academic accomplishments during their career. 39 honors graduates, eight Bright Flight recipients, one Missouri Scholars 100 recipient, and one St. Charles County STEM award winner. Now it is time to recognize each of our high school graduates as they receive their high school diplomas. Mr. Grunwald, Mr. Gokey, would you please prepare to present diplomas to the members of the Orchard Farm High School class of 2023. The students before you have successfully met all of the requirements of the Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education, as well as the Orchard Farm School District. They are so, so, so ready to receive their diplomas. Mr. Steve Mentier will be reading the name of each graduate. The 
The names of graduates will be announced alphabetically and will include honors recognition after the name is if appropriate. You may cheer and applaud for your graduate, but please remember that each and every individual here this afternoon all want to hear their graduate's name and celebrate with them appropriately. As the students cross the stage and receive their diploma, the photographer will be capturing the moment. These photos will be available on Wagner's website. It's time, let's get started. Max Donovan Akers. Juan Abedin Nunes Mera. Nicholas James Alford. Destiny Kaylee Grace Allen. Sadu Ba. Madeline Marie Bear, cum laude. Joshua Charles David Bartig. Ariana Marie Benitez. Antonella Bertaki. Seth Matthew Bixel. Jalen Javon Blunt. Shelby Lynn Birding. Moth Marie Susan Bouchard Hadley. Trey Braden. Mackenzie Elaine Bragg. Avery Grace Braun, magna cum laude. Kent Dominic Brothers. Kanaya Latrice Brown. Ian Michael Royals. Abby Christine Bush, summa cum laude. Amelia Maxine Carmichael, summa cum laude. Brandon Michael Cheatham. Drake Andrew Cody, cum laude. Kelsey Lynn Collins. Jackson Maxwell Crow. Kaylee Mackenzie Colbreth. <laughs> Hannah Victorivna Dedeka. Clayton Grant Dalton. Ariel Damola. Yeah! 
Roxana May Dinkins, summa cum laude. Reese Elizabeth Disco, summa cum laude. Ava Mackenzie Datsun. Clinton Harvey Doza. Joseph Michael Dumb, Magna Kulade. Dakota Rose, Jalen Eisenbath, Cum Laude. Jacob Anthony Elder. Jareli Estrada Acosta. Nathaniel Ryan Fisher, summa cum laude. Peyton Olivia Fry, cum laude. Bannon Fuller. Sophia Jean Galba. Jolette Calderon Garcia. <laughs> Olivia Marie Goki. <laughs> Michael Anthony Gorris. Miles J. Granda. <laughs> Isabella Ann Greaser. <laughs> Elena Marie Grinnell. Charles Michael Grunwald, cum laude. Faith Michelle Hawkins, magna cum laude. Nathan Andrew Henke, magna cum laude. Michael Jotha Hill III. Oleg Vesejevich Talad. Spencer James Hobson. Also graduating with his associate's degree from St. Charles Community College. Riley Nicholas Holmes. <laughs> Rebecca Jane Howard. Aaron Elizabeth Holbert. Diamond Essence Jewel. Adelie Kate Johnson.
Clay Allen Johnson. <laughs> Renaya Alil Jones. Samuel Thomas Jones. Jalen Matthew Kennedy. Peyton Alexis Kinder. Megan Ashley Kitko, Summa Kumade. <laughs> Emily Jane Koenig. <laughs> Abigail Claire Coleus. Brendan Lane Krill. Grant Thomas Lantana. Marissa Marie Leffers. Brindley Aowen Leesman. Magna Cum Laude, also graduating with her associate's degree from St. Charles Community College. Delaney Marie Luttrell. Samuel Bradburn Love. Angelina Loon. <laughs> Kylie Francis Mockins, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Stacy Maria Mockins. Cody Lee Manning. <laughs> Benjamin Jacob Marcial. <laughs> Lacey Marin. <laughs> Brian Moreno. Amber Jade Molenbach. <laughs> William Nolan Mindendorf. <laughs> Amelia Nicole Miller, summa cum laude. <laughs> Colin James Miller. Mason Anthony Mitchell, cum laude. <laughs> Daniel Mobley.
Armand R. Moore, Jr. Laura Moore. Cornell Javante Nelson. <laughs> Megan Juliet Wynn, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Alyssa Lee Boosley. Jenna Elise Overstreet. Caitlin Joy Parker. Angelina Maria Patino. Way to go, Angelina! Robert Richard Pauley, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Owen Tay Payne, Summa Cum Laude. <laughs> Trevor McCauley Padoff, Summa Cum Laude. Evan Lewis Powers, cum laude. Miranda Grace Pritchett. Neftali Mario Reyna. Kylan Yim Robinson. <laughs> Haley Marie Romeo. <laughs> Caitlin Christine Rose. Jessica Christine Ruffing, summa cum laude. <laughs> Allison Marie Ruling. <laughs> Tiffany Salas. Eli Miguel Salinas, cum laude. <laughs> Tessa Miller Shoemaker. <laughs> Lydia Marie Sisko. Emily Fleming Smith, Magna Cum Laude. Kendall Lane Smith. Sophia G. Smith. Charlotte Elizabeth Snyder, cum laude.
Lucas Aaron Stopke, summa cum laude. Catherine Grace Strickland. <laughs> Garrett Ryan Sutton, Magna Cum Laude. Riley Elizabeth Talbert, summa cum laude. <laughs> Shelby Lynette Terrell. Woo! <laughs> Savannah Marie Thibault. <laughs> Tristan Nathaniel Tompkins. Andrew James Trippiano. <laughs> Iris Noel Unterstall, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Van Dyke. Kelly Marie Elizabeth Walker. Yeah! Olivia Rose Watkins. Yeah! Thomas James Watkins. Madeline Rose Weber, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alyssa Bryn Williams. <laughs> Charlize Riley Williams. Jackson Harold Winkles, summa cum laude. Brady H. Wolf, summa cum laude. Jeremy Hunter Wolf. Hannah Kaylin Walberg, summa cum laude. <laughs> Alyssa Lynn Wood, summa cum laude. Landon Keith Wood. Emma Catherine Wurry. Yeah. Avery Lynn Zinke, summa cum laude.
are we are all proud of our graduates and are anxiously participating all of their experiences that they are about to have. It has been our privilege to work with your graduate and see all the things that they've already accomplished in their life. 13 years ago, when this journey began, your students were naive kindergartners. Today, these young men and women, before you have secured jobs, signed enlistment papers, earned scholarships to the educational institutions of their choice, and have been recruited for careers, and are now citizens in our community. We have all the rights and responsibilities of an adult. Let me say that again, graduates. You now have all the rights and responsibilities of an adult. Seniors, class of 2023, please rise. Class of 2023, at this time, you may move your tassels from right to left. The movement of your tassel is your first public action as a high school graduate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am honored to present to you the Orchard Farm High School class of 2023. On behalf of the entire Orchard Farm School District, thank you for letting us all be a part of your graduates' educational experience and their lives these past four years. At this time, we ask our graduates to meet their families. Please drive safe and have an awesome weekend. Thank you.